Hi. Welcome to Just Trading. In this video, our team give you an analysis with the information we got after the closing day of July 16, 2021. Our objective is to give you suggestions to trade with less risk and higher capital return. Remember to stop the video at any time, if you want to look at it carefully. Here, we show you an example of the stock's timestamp that you can find on the video's comments. You can click on the timestamp and go to the stock's details. SP500 ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Dow Jones Industrial ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. NASDAQ 100 ETF was a previous suggested butterfly option. Today, we suggest to sell it. Corporate bond ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Bitcoin, thousands, belongs to the bull low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the market sectors table. There is a strong opportunity to buy energy sector EDF. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 5.80%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $52.02. For a vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0.02. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell utility sector EDF. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 0.80%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $65.41. For a vertical put option, an estimated price is at $0.1. Energy sector ETF belongs to the bear low class. Today. Our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of energy sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Schlumberger Limited. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 7.90%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $31.35. For a vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0.01. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Chevron Corporation was a previous suggested iron condor option. Today, we suggest to sell it. Condor Morgan was a previous suggested iron condor option. Today, we suggest to sell it. Schlumberger Limited was a previous suggested iron condor option. Today, we suggest to sell it. Financial sector ETF belongs to the trade normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stock stable of financial sector. There is a mild opportunity to buy Bank of America. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 5.30%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $38.84. For a vertical call option. An estimated price is at $0.1. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Visa Incorporated. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 0.30%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $241.91. For a vertical put option, an estimated price is at $0.18. MasterCard Incorporated was a previous top seller alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that MasterCard Incorporated is a bull normal class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of minus 0.20%. You may expect now a sell return of 0.10%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $386.85 but we expect a possible buy price of $380.64. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $387.12, unless is overvalued. Morgan Stanley was a previous suggested vertical call option. 
the buy call strike price was bought at $93, and the sell call strike price was sold at $95. We are holding it, unless we decide to sell it before the expiration date on July 23, 2021. U.S. Bancorp was a previous suggested short stock. Today, we suggest to buy it. Wells Fargo was a previous suggested short stock. Today, we suggest to buy it. Wells Fargo was a previous suggested vertical put option. Today, we suggest to sell it. Real estate sector ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of real estate sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Simon Property Group. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 5.60%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $125.95. For vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell American Tower. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 2.40%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $281.45. For vertical put option, an estimated price is at $0.28. Healthcare sector ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today. Our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of healthcare sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Biogen Incorporated. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 2.00%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $337.45. For a vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0.32. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Abby Incorporated was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Abby Incorporated is a trade normal class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 0.20%. You may expect now a sell return of 0.70%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $116.73. But we expect a possible buy price of $115.44. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $118.13, unless is overvalued. Abby Incorporated was a previous suggested vertical put option. Today, we suggest to sell it. Industrial sector ETF belongs to the trade normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of industrial sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Boeing Company. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 7.10%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $227.65. For a vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0.12. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Three M Company was a previous suggested vertical put option. Today, we suggest to sell it. Material sector ETF belongs to the trade high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of material sector. There is a mild opportunity to buy DuPont Denim Ores. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 5.20%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $77.85. For vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0.13. On the other hand, 
there is a strong opportunity to sell Sherwin-Williams. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 1.20%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $279.79. For vertical put option, an estimated price is at $0.85. DuPont de Nemours was a previous suggested vertical put option. Today, we suggest to sell it. Discretionary sector ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stock's table of discretionary sector. There is a mild opportunity to buy Amazon Incorporated. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 5.90%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $3,645.39. For vertical call option, an estimated price is at $18.43. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Consumer Staples ETF belongs to the bull normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of Staples sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Procter & Gamble. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 2.20%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $139.52. For vertical put option, an estimated price is at $0.05. Technology sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of technology sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Western Digital. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 10.30%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $69.38. For vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0.01. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Microsoft Corporation. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 0.20%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $278.3. For vertical put option, an estimated price is at $2.27. Applied Materials was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Applied Materials is a bear high class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 0.80%. You may expect now a buy return of 3.80%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $133.09 but we expect a possible sell price of $133.45. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $128.18, unless it's undervalued. Applied Materials was a previous suggested vertical call option. The buy call strike price was bought at $135, and the sell call strike price was sold at $140. We are holding it, unless we decide to sell it before the expiration date on July 23, 2021. Hewlett Packard was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Hewlett Packard is a bear low class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of minus 0.30%. You may expect now a buy return of 2.40%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $28.19, but we expect a possible sell price of $28.42. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $26.29, unless it's undervalued. Oracle Corporation was a previous suggested long stock. Today, we suggest to sell it. This is a new buy suggested iron co Communication sector ETF belongs to the bear high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of communication sector. There is a mild opportunity to buy Comcast Corporation. 
you can observe, it has an expected buy return of 1.90%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $57.9. For vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0.18. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Comcast Corporation is a mild buy suggestion. It is on a trade normal class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average buy return of 0.70%. You may expect now a buy return of 1.90%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $57.9 but we expect a possible buy price of $56.45. In addition, we suggest to stop buying Comcast Corporation if it is below 1.05% of your stock price trade. T-Mobile US was a previous suggested vertical call option. Today, we suggest to sell it. Utility Sector ETF belongs to the Bull Normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of Utility Sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Duke Energy. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 2.90%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $102.65. For vertical put option, an estimated price is at $0. Dominion Energy was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Dominion Energy is a trade normal class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 0.40%. You may expect now a sell return of 2.40%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $75.32. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $77.21, unless it's overvalued. Dominion Energy was a previous suggested vertical put option. The sell put strike price was sold at $75, and the buy put strike price was bought at $77.5. We are holding it, unless we decide to sell it before the expiration date on July 23, 2021. Next Hera Energy was a previous suggested iron condor option. The sell put strike price was sold at $72.5, the buy put strike price was bought at $75. The buy call strike price was bought at $75, and the sell call strike price was sold at $80. We are holding it, unless we decide to sell it before the expiration date on July 23, 2021. This ends the analysis of our team that gives you a good start on your trading day. Please, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Share it and leave it a like if you find it useful. Thanks for following us. We hope to see you on our next Just Trading video. Bye.